Well, what's up, guys? This is James. Thanks for your continued support of us here at the Monaros Club here on YouTube.com. Before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to introduce my new Twitch stream over at twitch.tv slash skabomba. Give us a follow over there and join us for live streams of meta, rogue, and homebrew decks. We'll have the link in the video description below. Thanks for checking us out and enjoy the video! Hey everyone, it's Elizabeth here. Uh, today we are playing, I'm playing my new updated kind of slug deck. Um, and James is playing uh, the Awaken, the Broly, whatever he's called. You know what he is. That Broly right there. Um, and I started and I played a Wings, normal slug things, um, crit, and James comboed out of it. Oh, James went first. Turn two. Are off to the races. Um, he swings with his leader so that he can get his effect here to get Dormant Legend into the drop, which will allow him to untap an energy. Um, and he gets to draw a card, I believe, for his leader swinging. So I take it. He skips to my turn. So my new slug deck has some differences. Oh, there's my cat Dee Dee being annoying, as always. Um, <laughs> but does have same old Angela play for two. This is like old school slug happening right here. Um, <laughs> so I mean, Angela is just a great card. It makes them drop and is crit for 15, right? You can't go wrong. Um, Wings is out. Yes, only if Wings is out. That's what my husband just shouted from the other room. Um, I thought he was telling me Wings wasn't out, which I can obviously see, as all you can. He is. Um, he goes, he combos out, and then he plays uh, that whatever his name is. Is that a Go Tanks? I don't remember what that is. Gogeta, whatever he is, who comes and kicks something off your board. Um, then it's James's turn. He charges. He has that big double striker now, which is really annoying. So I have to decide whether I want to take 20k double strike. Not fun for me, but I take it. I can't awaken yet, so. Um, he swings with his leader and combos into it, which now I might as well awaken, right? Like, there's no downside for me awakening at any point when I can. I just get more cards, um, which is great for me. I don't know if he's still thinking about... Nope. Okay. Um, so I awaken, and then I just have to put that super combo into it to get out. James has to put a card on the bottom, which is why that Android 18 super combo is so great. So wonderful. Um, flips over to my turn. You know, I'm a little annoyed he killed my Angela. Aha, uh -huh. I charge a Demigra, so you can probably assume I have a Demigra, which puts my Frieza's online, which is very good, especially up against a deck like Broly here that, uh, you know, plays a lot of big, big boys on the board. Um, that Frieza will really help me. That Frieza will also put my Zamasu's online, so that's kind of the, that's the, like the new, the new tech here in this slug, really. Um, is this chain of Demigra, which puts Frieza online, which allows Zamasu to be put into play for, like, one energy. Um, it's good stuff. I don't know if I'm just thinking about what to do here. Probably. Um, 
I have a lot of good stuff in my hand, so I, it's hard for me to use that slug ability, but I really need to use it to keep his hand size down. Because um, I know, I know at this point, I have two of the Frieza's, um, and then I have two of the Zamasu's. So I don't really want to get rid of those. Um, I think I have maybe another super combo. I think I have an Angela. You know, I just have a lot of really great stuff that hurts to throw it away. Um, but obviously the name of the game for Slug is Discard, so... <laughs> Uh, I have that Zune that I discard, but I'd kind of wanted to keep it as a blocker. I am down to three life, which feels very threatening. Generally, as soon as I go below four, I start feeling a little bit of internal panic inside <laughs> that I will die at any moment. Because um, triple strike is not uncommon. Double strike is very common, right? Looks like I'm swinging with my leader. Putting a cell into it to take another card out of his hand and get some damage. Because, I mean, as I said, discard's the name of the game, but also I do have to still do damage to him. Um, but his board state's looking a little bit better for me. I have one energy up, which I could decide to save. Um, having a lot of thanks here. Might be a good time to say if you haven't liked our channel yet, you definitely should. Um, I know we're giving doing a giveaway, but that might be happening like as soon as possible. So get on that train. Um, or we might have just already done it, depending on when this video gets posted. Um, but there'll be definitely be more, so definitely like our channel, get in on that, uh, and like this video if you like our content. Um, here's James. He played the Saiyan Kaba. He's swinging with it. This guy, if you can take a life and I believe give him double strike. Um, I dormant potential it, which will kill him. And I'm trying to decide, again, I still have this problem of I don't, I like all of the cards so much in my hand. I have great plans for them. Do I want to get rid of one to prevent an attack or two? I don't know. He's kind of tapped out on some, you know, like, I don't know what he has planned. So I decide not to toss a card. He swings with his leader. He pumps that Nappa into it. He plays that Gogeta again. And I Frieza that. Which he can then pop the Frieza, which is annoying. Oh, he can't pop the Frieza. I don't remember. Is it because Frieza says it doesn't come into play? I don't really quite remember the mechanics of that. Um, I'm sure someone in the comments could describe it if they wanted to. Um, so it gets flipped over to my turn again. I'm glad that this freeze is here. I wanted him in play so that I could play my Zamasu on top of him. Um, yes, you will see for a minute that it doesn't actually go on top. The Frieza gets kicked to the garbage for me to play the Zamasu. So I go to swing with him, but then I'm like, wait, I shouldn't swing with him if I'm going to play something on top of him. And then James says, it doesn't matter. He's going to go to the trash. You play a new card. All of this will be coming to you live in a second. Um, so, you know, sometimes I get confused about what goes on top of what and what throws things in the trash can. Um, and I am the uh, stereotypical Dragon Ball player. See, you can see James say, you, just, you can just swing with that. Um, yeah, so I just swing with it. Uh, but yes, I am the stereotypical Dragon Ball player who... There's a lot of rules to remember, right, guys? There's a lot of different cards that do similar but different things. And I am not always very good at retaining that, so... I try to read and reread my cards, but 
I don't always remember which one does which. Um, especially these days I play way more decks than I used to. I used to play like one or two decks. Now I have like eight in my repertoire. <laughs> um, so this Zamasu is really great. So he's indestructible um, and you can play him for one if you have um, something that has 5k, 5 energy. And when he swings, he makes your, the player discard a card. Um, so super great, super great and slug. Uh, I play that AOD for two because of wings, um, the slug AOD. He makes a James discard a card. Um, he also has another ability that I can pay one to put something else into play. Um, that's a slug's army, I believe, which I think really it only works in my deck with Angela. But I, I did this for a reason because I have Angela in my hand. James would like to point out from the other room you could also play Wings off of him, but that makes no goddamn sense. So, because <laughs> Wings already costs one. Hey, play oh, and yes, you could play Zayun for one instead of free. Um, so I'm trying to decide all the things I should swing with here. Um, I did toss a card to make him drop a card. It was my other Zamasu, which I kind of wanted because I have another Frieza in hand, but you know, I figured less cards in his hand is better in the outrun, in the outrun, in the long run. Uh, so I swing with Isaiah, my Zamasu. He, do he dropped a card. He takes it. Then I pay one off my slug to play my Angela. Swing with the Angela. So he has to drop another card. And then it's 15k crit. He combos with his Nappa. Draws for that because now he has like zero cards in hand. He has that big chonk boy. Um, which he goes to throw away my stuff. kind of thinking about what to do next. Um, I don't know if this is where I asked if I could play, if I could have freeze at it. I was not thinking about freeze a... Yeah. So I think I decide to freeze a and get rid of it. Um, but the ability still happens where he got rid of Angela, which is fine. Um, Angela got some good, I mean, she cost one and she got some good value. You see James there almost charges that Champa, um, but realizes I'm at two life. So Champa might be really good. Um, at this point for me, it's looking really good. Like look at my board state. That looks great. Um, and I am out of Frieza's, but I do have some cards in hand, some stuff to do, um, but I am tapped out. So James is having a think here because he's feeling like maybe there's some way with this Champa to, to do something good here, um, but we'll see. He has to decide. Ah, uh, he swings with his leader. I sacrifice. Because I know he has that Champa, right? Like, so I figure it's better just to take a card, have more ammo against whatever comes next. You know, he's got some decisions to make. He decides to play the Champa, which I don't think I've ever seen that happen. Um, and swings at me with it. I am down to one now. Um, so he has a super combo. So now it's up to 26. But I got some cards in hand, you know. I, I could be okay. Depends on what he has. Ah, uh, he awakens. 
So that's pretty good. Um, untaps energy. So now I'm feeling a little more annoyed. Um, he has a lot of things he can arrival, so I don't know what horrible thing. Oh, that Broly again, where he can kill my two best combo pieces right there. Um, and another thing to arrival. So now things don't look so good for me. Uh, James is looking at his leader ability. Which he decides to use to combo with another Paragus. Um, so now he's what, 26, 36, 41. Um, and yeah, I've got garbage. So, <laughs> was looking really good for me, did not turn out. So, thanks for watching, everyone. See you later.